He's a Hall of Fame pitcher in Japan. Um, and, and as a result, when his career was finished in baseball, he took up golf. And, uh, and so, you know, he, he has the, the heart of a champion. He has the will to win. I've been fortunate enough to see Jumbo on my trips to Japan and watch him play. And truly, truly one of the best players in the world. Here's a man uh, that I think just turned 50 years old. Uh, he's incredibly strong. He tees the ball up about that high in the air and just whacks the heck out of his driver. Almost looks like he's coming out of his shoes when he hits it. Uh, Jumbo Ozaki is, is really, really a fine player. He sets up with the club on target, with a great grip, sets himself parallel to his target line with the right posture. From where he turns his top half correct and sets the club correctly, he uses the club as he turns through, and he does that with all the full shots. It's very uh, right-sided. He uses a, a weak left-hand grip and a strong amount of pressure in his left arm to act as kind of a brace. It helps him create a wide arc, but then basically, is right in the fingertips of his right hand with a relatively weak grip, he just really releases the hell out of it with his right hand uh, as if he were throwing a baseball through impact. And he's a big, strong man. Uh, you know, far bigger than most Japanese that he was playing against uh, in his prime. I think the jumbo swing is unique in that, once again, he doesn't get to parallel. His club is short of parallel, but yet generates a tremendous amount of speed. Now, the only way to generate that speed with a shorter swing is to use your torso, which is one thing I believe very strongly in, in my teaching. And jumbo generates a lot of speed with his body, which in turn makes the club head go faster, which is one of the reasons he hits the ball so far. He's the perfect example. If you address it correctly, you've gone most of the way. I always feel I've spent my life trying to put people in the right position. Most people can pull the trigger if you can set them up correctly. He certainly can. Jumbo can work it either way, depending on his comfort level. But I think he, he basically wants to feel like he's releasing the club as if he were hitting a draw, but never having the ball draw. So at the top of his backswing, the toe is hanging down a lot, and that allows him the freedom to release it and not ever get the club face closed. So he hits a little bit of a, of a left to right shot, uh, relatively high. Jumbo's a great shot maker. He has the ability to, to create beautiful shots uh, under extreme pressure. So he's a great player. I would like to see him play out of Japan uh, more. Uh, one, in a selfish way, so I could watch him play more. And two, so the rest of the world could see really how good Jumbo Ozaki can play. He took up golf late, but he didn't take up athletics late. And, and baseball players, and to a certain extent hockey players, uh, I think have, a, have an advantage over most other athletes in making the transition to golf because they're playing, you know, kind of a bat and ball sport to start with. And because he was a pitcher, he, he learned to really turn his shoulders to wind up on the pitch and, and let go. And, and that's really the, the asset that I see being his, his greatest strength in his golf swing.